Hey, what's up, you guys? Spencer here, and today we're doing another virtual tour. Um, we are in Russell Hall, which was my home freshman year, and as usual, I have a fresh, I have a special guest with me. Hey, guys, it's Jessica, and we're so excited to show you Russell Hall. Spencer, where is Russell Hall related? It, where is Russell <laughs> Hall located in relation to some other spots on campus? Yeah, so Russell is located directly between Creswell Hall and Brumby Hall. Um, so you're dead in the middle. It is up Freshman Hill and then right here. Um, also, it's really close to Bolton Dining Commons and O House Dining Commons and, of course, O House, the residence hall. Mm -hmm. So um, really just located to a lot of different places, a lot of social places. So that way, uh, if you have a friend that lives in Creswell, it's right there, right across the road, right there. Yeah, there's also, um, you can't see it in the video, but... All the way across the parking lot, there are some tennis courts and some basketball courts. So if you're someone who wants to get outside and get some exercise and not necessarily have to go all the way to East Campus, that's an option. Um, also in the community, we're right along Baxter Street, and Baxter Street has a lot of good restaurants, chain restaurants, local restaurants, that kind of stuff. So residents that live in this area really like having the option of not only going down the street to the dining hall, but also kind of getting to order out, you know, late night with their friends if they want to get cookies or something. All right. That kind of stuff. And speaking of the tennis courts and basketball courts, if you do not bring your own tennis, tennis racket, but you want one, you can check it out here at the 24-hour desk. Um, this desk has been up 24 hours. You can also come here if you lock yourself out of your room to get a temporary key. And it's where you can check out a rubber mallet to adjust your beds when you move in. Yeah, if you want to raise it or lower it, this is where you would come to it. Um, yeah. The lobby is nice and big. It's got a lot of great furniture in it. Um, floor to ceiling, cool. windows. Yeah, yeah, floor to ceiling windows. Lots of great natural light in here. And as you can see, this is a public lobby, but residents need to scan their UGID, put in their PIN code, and they're able to access the building if they lived here. If you don't live here, then your PIN code won't work. On my left, we have our RHD office, also known as Resident Hall Director. Um, they are the person that takes over the building and monitors the RAs and the G, uh, graduate assistants that live in this building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so over here you can see there's a lot of these little metal mailboxes. So each room in Russell comes with its own mailbox. And then the residents of that room will get a combination to be able to open it. Similar to a lot of our other residence halls, if your package or your letters fit in your mailbox, it's just going to go directly into the mailbox whenever you get it. You can check that at any time. If it doesn't fit in your mailbox, um, back here this door actually comes up and we have office assistants that work there in the mailroom. And they're going to log your package into our internal system um, and you'll get an automated email notification letting you know when it's ready to come and pick up. Yeah. And then also on my right you can see all these... Um these bar stools and stuff. That's where a lot of students choose to study because you can look out right onto that green space towards Creswell, and it's just a really beautiful sight. Yeah. Now we're going to take the stairs up to the third floor, and this is where the laundry room is housed. It's also where some, a, a lot of community space and um, community space is housed. Also, fun fact, um, on each um, floor there's a unisex bathroom in Russell. So if you have a guest over and they're not necessarily a part of your gender, then they don't have to travel up and down floors to find a place. They can just go right there um, and to the unisex bathroom. Now we have the laundry room, also the game room. So um, there's ping pong table, foosball table, um, and also TVs. So if you want to check out a ping pong paddle or a foosball uh, ball, <laughs> yeah. then you can do that at the front desk. and. Uh, Quick note, laundry is not coin operated. No need to bring those coins. Mm -hmm. uh, push the button and it goes, but bring your own detergent because it is not provided. Yeah, exactly. So when you move past the central laundry area, so this is where all residents come to do their laundry, we move into the third floor lounge. This is a huge space and we have a lot of options for this space. So you'll notice on the right there's a community kitchen, there's stovetops, microwaves. A lot of seating areas for community meals, really great way to get to know your neighbors. Then we also have all of the seating area. We've got TVs in here. Sometimes if there's away games, people come in here and watch them. Um, lots of good strong study tables and even just places for you to relax and kind of take a break from classes. Um, and when I lived here, RAs used to host programs. So they would actually have like um, the dean of students come in and hang out with us here in this lounge. And it was really, really fun. Yeah. There's also some study areas, so this one's the big one, big whiteboard, lots of chairs, and then there's two smaller ones that are kind of enclosed study spaces, so if you want to be able to kind of study outside your room in an enclosed environment, that is an option. Then we have another TV area. This is where people like to have bachelor watch parties, but it's a little bit more um, closed off than the bigger one over on the opposite side, so if you have more of an intimate party, then you can yeah. 
have that there. Options. Right. And then there was the other study space right there. Yeah. Also right here to my right um, is some vending. We're not going to take you down there, but in that little alcove back there, there's more vending. So for all your bottled coffee needs or <laughs> Milo's <laughs> lemonade, whatever yeah. you want, um, it's right back there. So. Yeah. So this is a really, really great space. Students really like coming and hanging out here. And there's, a, I mean, there's a lot of natural light in Russell, which also makes it great because you can get some pretty cool views of campus. And each floor have these big elevator lobbies. You'll see it more once we go up to the 10th floor. But um, that's a really good feature of Russell, too, because you step out of the elevator and then automatically you're in a social environment. Mm -hmm. um, because a lot of people choose to study there because of the noise of the traffic from the elevators. Provides a very much, like, background white noise mm -hmm. um, while you're studying instead of it being dead silent. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. So right now we're going to go all the way up to the 10th floor. Um, we're going to show you a room. Some more stats about Russell is that this is a first year only hall. So the only residents that live here are first year students. There are 10 floors, but students live through floors 2 to 10. 2 through 10, yeah. Um, and there are like three wings. So while there's a lot of people on the floor, it kind of gets broken up a little bit more. And you can kind of have a smaller community within your hall. Yeah, and you'll see these little maintenance carts throughout our tour. Um, it is summer, so we're doing a lot of cleaning and to make sure that our um, residence halls are tip-top shape when our residents come. Here's one of the study spaces. Um, this is a great place to have um, that bachelor watch party again with a few of your roommates, um, or also just to come in here late night and to study. Yeah, so. absolutely. And so this one's more of an enclosed space, but like Spencer was saying, earlier this is outside is more of like the elevator bigger lounge space right now we're going to come down the north wing and we're going to visit one of the rooms here to show you guys what a room layout looks like there's our unisex bathroom there on my right and here is the room so each room comes with these giant windows on the even floors, the um, air conditioner is on the floor, but on the odd floors, they're on the ceiling, so that's one fun thing about Russell. Um, Russell is coming with these micro fridges for the 2020-2021 academic year. Um, also, we have um, a dresser per resident, a desk per resident, and then also these detachable nightstands, um, also called pedestals. Um, so, you know, that you can attach that to your desk, um, and it gives you that extra space. Also, twin XL beds. Um, and this big, hefty, handy um, guard, not to, guard thing. yeah, guardrail, yeah. not to keep you from falling off your bed. Yeah. Um, and then also the wardrobe, so they come with shelves, and then there's also little closet racks in there. Yeah, um, every piece of furniture in this room is movable. So while this is the configuration that these previous residents set up, um, residents can sort of organize this however they want. So this space is really customizable. Um, there's, like Spencer said, there's a lot of great space, um, and you can really kind of make it your own, however you want it. Yeah, and these beautiful hardware, fo hardware floors are in each room. Yeah. So. Yeah. And there's in-room temperature control. So you... Yeah, so now we're going to walk over to a community bathroom. Um, there is one on each wing, but the north wing is a little bit different, so we're going to head over to the west wing to show you what that um, bathroom... Wing. Yeah. That's a show. <laughs> 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 kind of Downton Abbey-ish, you know? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, but there's also that study room, right, Spencer? Yes. Study room. So in each hall, each floor, there's this little study room off here to the left um, on the west wing side. And here is this one. If the lights will come on. Yeah. And so here is this one. Um, they look different on each floor, but here's another enclosed study option um, for you to use. So as you can tell, Russell has a lot of study space, a lot of lounge space as well. A lot of social stuff happening here in Russell. There's the unisex bathroom, but also here is the standard community bathroom. There are some decorations, uh, post-it notes, that have little um, affirmations on them that the RA left up um, at Move Out. But there's our showers here, and then you keep on walking, and then there's the toilets. So um, what's really great about these community bathrooms is that there's floor-to-ceiling doors, so there's a little bit more privacy than there are in other halls. So, and there's these little, um, the locks like turn from vacant to occupied. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's... So that way you don't have to like look to see if there's someone's feet. You can just be like, okay, it's occupied. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's the 10th floor. Spencer, what kind of shape letter do you think Russell is in? Like a T? Yeah. It's like a T with a short, short end. Yeah. Um, yeah. It has a long like top part, but then like a, a tinier stem. 
And yeah, also, we each... We get a little look at this view while we're waiting for the elevator. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And there's also telephone rooms um, on each floor. So that way, if you need to have that phone call, but you want a little that, bit of privacy, yeah. you have that right That there. big interview with the big company. <laughs> you can go in one of the uh, phone rooms. There is a little bit of echo in there, though, so you might have to tell the person you're talking to, I'm sorry, but there's a little bit of echo. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're going down to the first floor. This is where the rack is housed, also the market, um, and also some housing administrative offices. Yeah, so um, while we're riding our way down, uh, another thing to, to note is that Russell technically has two entrances. So there's the second floor entrance, which is where we started the tour, um, and that's where the residents will usually come into, but there's also a first floor entrance, um, because there's, like Spencer said, there's administrative offices down here, there's also tutoring options down here. Um, but what we're going to start with is the market. That's a unique feature of Russell. Um, let's start over here to our right. It's called the market at Russell. As you can see, look at that beautiful sign. And it's like a little convenience store. Yeah. Um, I think it's a really great place. Um, also, they sell like blue books in there. They sell uh, post-it notes. They sell um, snacks, snacks cool. soft drinks, um, bagels, you know, things like oh, that. Yeah. Good so, morning. Yeah. So normally you would actually enter on the other side, but we were just staying inside so that it's all easier to see everything. Right. Um, but this area is also where residents will come to bring their trash down. And they're recycling. There's a big dumpster out there. Um, and those big blue bins, Spencer, hit us with the facts yeah. about what those blue bins are. So our community council eco reps decided that, hey, our students really want to recycle and there's really not a way to separate the recycling. So they came up with these blue bin community, uh, these blue bin containers that students can check out and get in their rooms. And then um, they're able to separate their mixed recyclables away from their regular trash yeah. in their rooms. And then throw it out accordingly. Mm -hmm. And so if you'll notice, inside this area is called the Russell Academic Center, also referred to as the Rack. Um, there's recy mixed recycling options in there as well. Um, but this space is a multi-use space. It is for, um, there's different academic tutoring options that'll come here. Some classes. Some classes take place here. There's also some study rooms back there. So um, it's a really great space for not only Russell residents, but also just residents in the community that want to come and get some extra help on chemistry or, you know, uh, math classes, just a bunch of other stuff. And there are picnic tables right out there um, in the little breezeway there that students love to utilize during um, a fall, oh, yeah. a Georgia fall. It's yeah, really, it's exactly. really precious out there. And the other thing, Spencer, there's a special program that lives here too, right? Yeah. Can you yes. tell us a little bit more about what that special program is? Yes, it's the Freshman College Summer Experience. Um, it is housed here in Russell, and it's basically an opportunity for freshmen to get their feet wet in the college experience and meet all these new people. Um, and it's housed right here in Russell, so they live here throughout the entire um, academic calendar year, and they move in early as well. So then they're able to move in early, take classes, get that class credit, and also gain those valuable friendships. Um, before the rest of the bunch gets here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, Spencer, another question for you because I know you're so smart. If people have more questions about your previous home, then where can yeah. they go online to find more information? Yeah, so you can go to housing.uga.edu for more information here on Russell. Click the housing tab, scroll down to Russell Hall, and then um, click it, and then you're good to go. There's all the information you need to know about Russell. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us for another virtual tour. We hope you have an excellent day. And as always, go dogs. Bye.